this is Tiwanaku from South Florida again, and I am live streaming on Twitch and also about to live stream my podcast, which is White Noise Level 3. Uh, you can visit whitenoiselevel3.wordpress.com for the website and how to contact me and how to donate oh, uh, using my PayPal link. Um, that would be great. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm hitting record for the podcast. Yes. They always change it. But I could fill this out later. White noise level three. Episode 65. Saturday morning coffee. Not boffy, coffee. All right. This is Tiwanaku uh, going live from South Florida on both Twitch and white noise level three podcast so this is exciting it's been working out pretty well uh, so the twitch users already see me they know what to do um, for the podcast people the audio people um, just look in the description when i'm done with this uh, and i'll you know send you the link for the live streams and um, of course my youtube channel which is where i keep everything white noise level three uh, the youtube channel so like and subscribe all right let's go ahead and get started uh, this is a very special episode because i do not know what is going on and honestly i think i'm feeling drained because of the experience of the last couple of days so um as evidence to the drainage I've been sleeping a lot and I'm not a sleeper, but like yesterday I just went into bed at 7.30 in the evening and then kind of started moping around and getting up at around four um, because of the cats. If any of you are cat owners, you understand what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's unusual. I never go into bed that early and I think it's just this awakening as to what is going on these past couple of days. So uh, I have a lot of time on my hands, uh, especially in my job. So uh, I, I just have things that are not obvious, like a laptop computer in front of my face. That usually doesn't work very well. But um, I have been ordering and using tarot cards and crystals and teaching myself as well as, uh, you know, learning from uh, YouTube uh, personalities that I like. So this is all new to me and um, I'm just getting started. And um, yeah, so I, I check, I have to walk the dog early. It's raining. Um, then I get back in, I, I check my messages and a good friend of mine wants to spontaneously meet for um, breakfast, you know, brunch, well, breakfast, um, just, you know, I just have to walk down the street. So I said, fine. Um, mind you, this whole time I thought it was another friend. I have this bug in my brain and I'm in DBA. I'm a database administrator, so I know exa exactly what it is. It's first letter wildcard. Um, so if you're lucky that I remember your name, <clears throat> which is just luck, I'm very bad with names, then um, I don't want to take, apparently I don't want to take too much processing power. So I just remember the first letter and wildcard. So I thought that I was corresponding with my friend Carolina, when in fact I was <laughs> conspiring with my friend Consuela, the two C's, Carolina and Consuela. Okay, then it was raining. I was gonna walk over, um, you know, just walk over to the to meet her, 
but I called Carolina, who did not answer, wondering if she could pick me up and <laughs> we could just, um, you know, drive the two blocks to um, to have brunch. Um, Carolina did not answer because she wasn't the one that was contacting me, okay? I did not figure that out until I walk in to the restaurant with my mask, with my glasses. My glasses are totally fogged. I have to take them off. Some woman is is waving at me. It's that's not Carolina. <laughs> and I'm I'm basically blind without my glasses. So I you know, I'm practically sitting down and it's like and then I you know, I heard her voice. It's Consuela. Oh, <laughs> It's Consuela. So poor Carolina is probably wondering why I called her so early in the morning on Saturday and is probably sending me some huge hate vibes. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to explain that. I'm just going to say I butt dialed her or something. But I, I usually don't make these like absolutely confusing, um, you know, linkages. But I am now. And I mean, I just feel kind of drained. I'm going to go ahead and make some more coffee or something. I've got to snap out of this because I've certainly slept a lot. Isn't there something like you sleep too much? And, but anyway, I think it's the start of allergy season for me. So, um, so I have been, I'm stuffed, stuffed up now. And I'm, I think that might be a, just that could be the explanation right there. Uh, it could also be that I am, um, you know, delving into the world of uh, oracles and tarot readings that I never really had before. And maybe that is uh, also draining my, my energy. But the one thing that is just shocking is, uh, of, of course, maybe like seven days ago, maybe a week and a half ago, I've been doing uh, readings on my own, tarot readings and uh, pendulum readings. And, uh, who's going to win the election, the presidential election. And uh, it was coming out as Biden. When I would pull uh, the spread for Trump, the first card that came out was the death card. And I was thinking, I must be doing this wrong. I mean, I really don't think that that's going to happen. And then lo and behold... The president's in the hospital because of coronavirus. And so I'm really hoping, of course, I would never wish that on anyone. I'm really hoping that isn't the case. But frankly, that was kind of shocking that that came out, especially since I'm very new to all of this. Uh, with the pendulum that I have right here, uh, it also, I asked, is Trump going to pass away from the coronavirus? Is Trump going to die from the coronavirus? And it said yes. So, of course, I'm really hoping that that is not the case. But, you know, it could also mean that that this happens 10 years from now or something. I mean, people recover from the virus and then have complications later. So it doesn't mean that it has to happen right now. But I was just so amazed that that this was actually happening. So... Uh, just a little show and tell here. Uh, seen the pendulum. I ordered some crystals online. There are more coming. Uh, this is the rose quartz. And it's so pretty. There it is. It's actually a light rose color. And it feels really good when you just put it on your on your forehead. It's nice and cold. So it's just a little refreshing kind of feeling. Um, I take it to work. Uh, I spread it out. I take all the, the decks and the oracle and tarot cards to work <laughs> um, just for something to do. Um, I also have this amethyst, the amethyst quartz cluster. And it's just so pretty because it uh, reflects, you know, it's actual crystal, of course. So it reflects off the sun. It's kind of dreary today. But I love them. I love them both. And you can look up on YouTube, you know, the special healing properties of the rose quartz or the amethyst crystal. And, uh, you know, there's there's quite a bit. But uh, for now, we can talk about 
uh, this deck. It's called the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. And I just got it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. There's a couple like this. So this is the one that I picked. And again, you know, I'm new. So it does have a book, a fairly lengthy book. It talks about your chakras, which I didn't really know that much about. It has uh, different types of spreads. So uh, my birthday was a few days ago. So of course I did a birthday spread. And then um, it talks about um, quite in depth the crystals that are in the deck. So here's the deck. And then uh, what I normally do is I just uh, pick a card. That's how I start my readings for the day at work. Um, but I'll do it today since it's a Saturday. I'm not at work. So I'm doing it with you. I'm just um, shuffling and cutting. I'm going to do a uh, pick a card for the day. So I cut the deck. Let me see if I can put this down. There we go. Just shuffling. Uh, with this deck, it specifically says shuffle and then just pick the cards that are on top. And that actually relieves pressure because sometimes I have... Although it's been working, sometimes I have analysis paralysis. And, and if I spread the cards out and then ask to pick one, then it's like, oh, is it this one or that one? Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Was it should I pick should I pick the other one? So oh, this deck's a little bit hard to shuffle. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then you just uh, lay your crystals around. So um Shuffling, 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 shuffling until I feel like it's right. Then I'm going to cut the deck and I feel like I'm going to pick this card. A Zez to light. A Zez to light. Um, let me tell you, I don't, I don't think I've had this one. But um, when I'm picking a card this way, like, you know, just pick the, the one on top, then it's definitely less stressful. It is what it is. Um, then I'm getting new cards when I would uh, spread it out and then just, you know, pick one from the spread. Then I was getting uh, the same cards over, over and over. So I'm not really sure what that means, but um but there's definitely a difference here. And I, I kind of like the new, um, this is better for me because then I can uh, learn more about the car, the crystals from the cards. And uh, what they're saying as well as the over 2000 reviews is that um, you don't actually have to go out and purchase these crystals. Just the card itself has the power of the crystal. And uh, I'll give you some examples of how that actually worked for me. But for now, let's look up what a Zez to light means. So it's number 26 in this particular deck. So I'm using the book. Okay. So, ooh, cosmic evolution. And it's under the type of multidimensional vibrations. Okay. So self-understanding. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become an authentic and lethal niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated. Stay real. Leave your ego behind. Divination, you are here to re represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Baby, my little Siamese just tried to get on the table. Baby, I'm sorry. Okay. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognize... Healing insight, recognizing that every soul is precious, ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. So the frequency is exceptionally high. The chakra is all in the highest crown. The timing is every moment. 
and the soul path is assisting the earth to evolve. All right, that's my card for the day. And then what I usually do is I just put it in my pocket um, or uh, because I don't have a pocket right now, I'll probably just uh, snip it on my, uh, put it on a magnet on my, on my fridge. So I see it today. And if I like it, you know, then I uh, put it on my pillow under my pillow when I'm sleeping, but I don't feel like sleeping anytime in the near future because I already slept so much. So, um, yeah, I mean, I live by myself. I have, as everybody knows that listens to my podcast, two dogs and three cats. <laughs> so, um, you know, I need any help that I can get. And, um, this is really cool. I mean, it helps you think about things that are coming your way. It helps you think about things that you should be cautious about or maybe that you should be doing. So I like it. You know, I wouldn't necessarily be thinking about this otherwise. And anyone can do it. You just order these Oracle decks um, from Amazon or really anywhere. So that's my uh, crystal for the day, Azaz to Light. <laughs> It's really pretty. It's like this. Um, it reminds me of dirty snow. I grew up in Indiana, but it's like a cream color with uh, light and darker uh, hues. There we go. All right. So we'll put that aside. Put this away. I'm going to lose any cards. I don't want to know about Trump. I just, I'm just so freaked out that even happened. <laughs> just so freaked out. Okay. Let's stick with the oracles. My second and last oracle deck is the L key. And again, for you podcast only listeners, if you go out to twitch.com, Tiwanaku LLC, T-I-W-A-N-A-K, U L L C, which is the name of my business, then you can see this. Um, might be kind of fun for you, but you're probably just following along, listening, and driving your car or something. All right, so uh, this is the Oracle deck for L Key, and it's actually these like warrior women. So um, again, I was feeling frustrated because I kept on doing a spread and then coming up with the same warriors over and over. And I was just like, I know, I know, I know. But now that I'm, uh, you know, not spreading it out and just taking the first card, then I feel uh, that I'm getting more of a mix. So, right. I never had her before. Valencia. She who stands and resolute, implacable, determined. Okay, so let's look up Valencia. She's so pretty and she has a sword and looks really intense. I think I've had her once before, but it's not like I'm getting her all the time. So Valencia, resolute, implacable, determined. Valencia, she who stands, embodies the spirit of resoluteness. Her hair is tied back, revealing the determination in her face. Her bloodied swords, sword rests in her hand. Oh, it's bloodied. Yeah. She is not holding it to defend herself. Instead, she clutches it to support herself after a hard-won fight. <laughs> nice. Part of her would like to run, but the strongest part insists she hold her ground the fierce the fierce tusked skull on her right shoulder remind her it is wiser to fortify her position for now valencia holds her place those who would call her implacable would not be wrong the message of this card is to stand your ground the thing you've been working so hard to obtain will be in your possession soon mm -hmm. do not give in to the urge to give up let this card serve as a reminder of your own resolution Acknowledge where you've been. Look at where you are now. Tie your hair back. <laughs> Roll up your sleeves. Now you must prove you have earned this spot. You will not be put aside easily. This moment will determine your own strength of will. 
do not waver, look them in the eye, hold their gaze, show them your implacable stance. So the questions would be, how do I underestimate myself? Never. <laughs> I never underestimate myself. Um, but I guess I could always work on that even more. How can I best fortify my current position? Well, I'm enjoying the unobstructed view to the north right now, and I can see the horizon. Um, and I like rainy days, so things are okay now. In what ways am I resolute? Um, probably in taking care of my family, my mom and dad and my sister and my niece and nephew. So, um, and of course my pets. <laughs> But this is Valencia. This is my oracle warrior, female warrior for today. So I'm definitely putting her along with the crystal of the day on the fridge. So I see her and I'll probably sleep with them under my pillow late at night. I'm not going to sleep at seven at night anymore. Late at night. Um, tonight. <laughs> Well, 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 I have been doing this for a couple of weeks. And, and I can tell you, I've been getting the strangest dreams. <laughs> the strangest dreams. Um, at first, every single night was a nightmare. And it usually involved my, you know, um, chasing after my animals that ran away. I mean, it was just horrendous. But now they're more just like, oh, you know, I haven't thought about him in many years. You know, you dream about an old boyfriend or something. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, definitely there's something going on. I guess there's some kind of cleansing happening, but uh, I would have to say that it's unusual. Um, but it could also just be that you're open, um, you're opening your mind to different ideas and different things that you should be um, looking at. So this is the amethyst uh, that I'm that I'm showing you. Um, it would be uh, vibrating, but uh, with light. But it's a dark. It's uh, just a cloudy, rainy, yucky day today here in South Florida. And. Um, Oh my gosh, we've already been going 21 minutes. Okay, let me wrap, wrap this up a little bit. So uh, we're, uh, next time we're going to go into uh, the tarot decks. But for now, um, you know, we're just going to stop at the oracle decks. So from what I understand, and again, I'm new to this, the difference between a tarot deck and an oracle deck is that the oracle deck, it's just completely different cards. Um so the tarot deck, for example, has the king, the queen, the page, the ace of cup, swords, wands, um, pentacles, and people can call them different names. But um, so it's you can get as many decks as you want of tar of tarot decks, and then and then the higher arcana, which would be like the death card of, or the magician card, but they all like basically have the same. Uh, core cards their depictions and their illustrations are obviously different and then um and and their explanation of the cards are obviously different uh, and the theme so i don't have it but you can get like um an edgar Allan poe theme uh card <laughs> it has like little um you know skulls everywhere and it's just uh, but if you get like a, like a happier type of deck, then it's all, you know, sunflowers or something. So um, the oracle cards are more uh, focused, I guess, and tell you more about your past and your future and where you want to go. Um, so the El Key, for example, I know I'm not describing that correctly, but I guess once you get these decks, then you'll see that there's a clear difference that the El Key with the Valencia uh, for today, that is an Oracle deck. And then all of the cards are um, warrior women, but it has nothing to do with swords or cups or um, things like that. And then of course the crystal deck also just uh, really has only crystals. It doesn't have the King of Cups. It doesn't have things like that. 
Um, so yeah, I uh, invited a, a dear friend of mine over, and um, I did a reading for her, and it was actually like, um, you know, I was able to verify that a lot of aspects of her personality uh, were true. A lot of verification was coming out in the deck. And, uh, it was actually really surprising because it's the first time that I um, did a reading for her. And uh, apparently the only way to do this is just to practice. So if you would like for me, oh, Delita, hi. I'm <laughs> sorry, I didn't even look. I already have um, someone do in the chat. Hi, where are you from, Jalita? Angelita. Um, the other thing too is that I speak Spanish. Hablo español. Entonces, si me quieres hablar en español, uh, está bien. Pero, yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm psyched I have people um, on my chat. But if you guys uh, want me to do a reading for you or want me to ask any questions, um, I can answer yes no questions through the pendulum. Um, then go ahead and either send it to me in chat live or contact me on my website, which is white noise level three dot wordpress.com. And, you know, just send me something in my, go to contacts and send me a note. I'd be happy to do, to do something in the next, uh, episode, but let's just finish with the pendulum. So, um, this is also just shocking to me. I just started using it. But um, we just have to think of a yes, no question. And then back and forth is yes. And then around is no. And what is really amazing to me is that I'm not doing anything. It just moves by itself. <laughs> so let's ask a question um, that is relevant to all of us here. So are we going to get a vaccine uh, available to the general public? For COVID uh, by the end of 2020, a vaccine for COVID by the end of 2020. So I'm going to move my hand down. COVID. Okay, it's going back and forth, but all of you guys saw that. I was not doing that. Uh, so we are going to get a vaccine available for the general public by the end of 2020. Hooray. <laughs> That's awesome. Go crystals. All right. Free readings for you guys, um, either in the chat or uh, I'll be on here frequently or contact me on white noise level three dot wordpress.com. Just uh, go to the contact section and I'll get your email. Um, and while you're doing it, if you want to give me a donation, that would be perfect. So I love you guys. Um, I started off with hello world. So this is goodbye world. Goodbye for now, but we will be chatting soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.